A Nashville woman was surprised to discover recently that someone had stolen her wallet while she was grocery shopping. But it's what happened next that she says was truly shocking. In a matter of minutes, the thieves had racked up thousands of dollars in credit card charges. Here's how they did it and what you need to know to keep it from happening to you. I'm at the register to pay and uh, my wallet's not in my purse. While Jennifer Purrier was shopping at the Kroger in Green Hills, someone stole her wallet and within minutes, police say the two people you see here were doing some shopping of their own with her American Express card. No zipper, so it would have been easy. Purrier says as soon as she realized her card was gone, she called the credit card company. And they said, you haven't been at Target. And I said, no, no, I haven't been at Target. And they said, oh. Police say the couple worked quickly, and from Kroger, they immediately headed to the White Bridge Road Target, where they charged nearly $10,000 to per year's account. Their next stop was the Target in the Nashville West Shopping Center, where they spent another $8,000. In all, they racked up more than $18,000 in charges in less than an hour. I, I, speechless. I mean, even now, I'm speechless. And according to American Express, they swiped Perrier's card a dozen times in those two stores, buying mostly cash and gift cards. It's like a money laundering that's happening right there very easily. They didn't roll out of bed this morning and decide to become a scam artist. Sergeant Michael Warren of Metro's Fraud Unit says these two knew exactly how to take a stolen card and quickly turn it into lots of cash using gift cards. And so the cards can be sold online. They don't even have to physically shift the card. They can just sell the number. And Warren says this is a growing problem, and not just here in Nashville. In fact, according to the credit card industry newsletter, The Nielsen Report, credit card fraud worldwide increased by nearly 20% last year, and in the U.S. alone totaled nearly $8 billion. The thieves in this case ran out of luck finally at the Target on Old Hickory Boulevard in Brentwood. By the time they got here and tried to run the card, Perrier had already contacted American Express, and the company had shut down the account. Perrier wondered why they weren't stopped sooner, but Target employees tell me they don't ask for ID, even on large purchases. However, American Express tells me there is something its cardholders can do. Customers who sign up for instant fraud alerts are notified anytime there's a large or suspicious purchase, an international charge, or a cash advance, and a quick call to the company can then stop the transaction. I would just love to be aware of, of an aggressive effort to stop this. And stop people, she says, like this. Now, if you recognize either the man or the woman in those surveillance shots, call Metro Crime Stoppers program at 615-74-CRIME. Metro Police also recommend that you keep your credit card's customer service number and the last four digits of your card handy and away from your wallet. That way, if your card or wallet is ever stolen, it's easier and faster to report. Nick?